Hey, Alex, thanks for doing this. Um, we haven't talked to you since last season, so just what went into your decision to come back for your senior year? Um, what went into my decision was basically uh, I felt like I left a lot on the table as a player, and uh, I felt like I just had a lot more to offer, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to come back and uh, capitalize on that. And also the way the season went last year, it wasn't how us or anybody else expected to go, and I wanted to just come back and, like, leave on a way better note than what we did. Hey, Alex. Evan Neal is a guy who was recruited as a tackle, then had to play guard for a year, and now looks like potentially he may end up going back to tackle. As someone who's been through that, um, just kind of what is the the challenge of that transition, and, and what's your kind of assessment of his game in making that transition? Um, he himself, he's a very driven player, you know what I mean? So I feel like any obstacle that is thrown at him, he's going to overcome it. But, you know, when he was playing guard, I did give him a lot of tips and stuff like that on how to transition and stuff like that. And I feel like uh, that made his transition a lot smoother. And um, him going back to tackle, that's been great, too. I mean, he, he, he was already a natural tackle, you know what I mean? So it wasn't really, like, that much to it. But um, as far as him and um, this fall camp, he's doing great, you know what I mean? Like, way better than I would have expected. And I'm enjoying it. Hey, Alex, <clears throat> you're one of three starters, uh, uh, three senior starters on the offensive line. How, how easy, how, how does that make it easier to transition in, into this season and, and kind of with so much experience coming back? Uh, yeah, of course, I think so. Uh, with experience, it, it's always easier. You know what I mean? And uh, not only that, but we didn't have a lot of like, well, we didn't have too many young guys come this summer either. So we already had a lot of like experience in the room as a whole. And I feel like that was um, a great thing, but it's going well. Like, his fall camp is going great. Hey, uh, uh, obviously with the uh, recent number of cases um, on the Alabama campus, for you as a student athlete, do you still feel comfortable and confident to play this year? Um, yes, speaking from us and what we have going on here, I say that uh, we feel more than safe because of the uh, precautions and the things that we uh, have put in place and the things that we're doing just to make sure we're all healthy. So, yeah, we feel good. Alex, just what have you seen out of Mac, you know, these last couple months, given that, you know, he kind of comes into this offseason and into this season in a different spot than he had been uh, the, the last couple of years in terms of being, you know, potentially the starter? Right. Um, Mac has always been a workhorse. Like, uh, Ever since he came on the campus, he's been one of the hardest workers, and I feel like that is, uh, it's been consistent with him coming into this fall camp. Um, he works his ass off, and uh, he's a, like a great team player and a, a great leader for our team. Uh, yes, Alex. Um, I was going to ask you about Tommy Brown. Do you think he could play the right tackle position? And then if not, can he move inside to play guard? I feel like um, I feel like him and along with a lot of uh, other with him, along with a lot of our other guys could play a lot of positions because uh, to create depth, we all move around. You know what I mean? And play uh, like uh, a few snaps here, a few snaps there. So I feel like he could most definitely play anything on the O-line. Hi, Alex Cecil Hurt from the Tuscaloosa News. Um, you were the, the primary author, as I understand, of, of the team statement earlier this summer uh, about racial injustice. Uh, what inspired you to do that as the team continued to discuss those issues? And, and what are your feelings today? Um, what inspired me to do it? I mean, just like seeing this past summer of all the things that were going on and taking place. I mean, it was just like, it was very disheartening. You know what I mean? And I felt like us and, uh, and us being who we are and us having this platform, I felt like it was a great opportunity to show that, um, to just like be a voice for my people. You know what I mean? From a standpoint and a platform where a lot of people would listen.
You know what I mean? And I feel like we still feel the exact same way about that video today. Yeah, what was the creative process and how you wrote that? And uh, how do you feel things have, have changed or have they changed since you uh, wrote that or just in society in general? Um, no, my opinions have not changed at all. But uh, the creative process, to be honest, it was like, it was almost like, I don't know, it just like came to me out of nowhere because I'm by no means a writer or anything like that because I'm very like math minded left brain, you know what I mean? But I felt like that was just something that had came to me. And I felt like, because I'm not really an outspoken person, but I felt like those thoughts and those feelings that I had toward the situation needed to be heard. So I just used my platform to do so. Alex, what have you seen from LeBron Ray, both you know stepping into that leader role in the defensive line and then also just recovering from his foot injury? Um, I mean, a great, a great player, great athlete, and um, he's a workhorse as well. Uh, he comes to work every single day. I mean, he primarily lines up against me, so uh, I'm getting the best. I'm getting practice I've ever gotten in a long time, you know what I mean, because he's back and stuff like that. But um, he's doing great. I feel like uh, he feels confident about his foot and stuff like that, and uh, he's practicing really, really well. Just to follow up on the questions there from, from Cecil and from Michael, just how much have you as players around the team paid attention to the situation in Wisconsin this week uh, with, with the Jacob Blake shooting and just how much has that been discussed and um, you know, how much does it anger you essentially as players? Um, I mean, of course it's been discussed around the team and stuff like that. But I mean, just like I said earlier, we feel the same way as the same way we did uh, a few months ago when we put out the video. And uh, of course, we're like, not really angered, but I mean, we just like, don't feel good about that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we don't like to see it. It's like, it shouldn't be like normal to be seeing that stuff every few weeks, every month or so. It's just, it's just not good. We don't like it. Okay, Alex, thank you so much.